Hello guys, so um, this video will be a unboxing of the Brox brand new saddle which is the Cabium uh, all-weather C17 um, bicycle saddle and uh, I just received this uh, in the package um, it, is, it is actually their alternative to their original all-leather saddles uh, as you can see here I have the Brox Swift titanium version um, mounted on my bicycle which is a giant um, Defy um, carbon fiber uh, frame bicycle. Uh, I've actually had this saddle for uh, maybe two years now and uh, um, I've, I've done already done a century on this saddle uh, without any padding and I mean after 100 miles it feels about okay. Um, my butt doesn't hurt and again it's without any padding for 100 miles so I think it, uh, it actually is a decent saddle for long travels um, but um, again this one is all leather so I constantly afraid of having the um, saddle um, being soaked in the rain while I was riding or doing group rides um, and that's the reason I was looking at their alternatives which uh, I'm so glad they just came out with this um, Cambium all weather um, bicycle saddle and uh, uh, why it's all weather compared to the previous generation is that um, again all the constructions are exactly actually constructions are slightly different compared to the previous generation of the regular cambium saddles um, I think this one actually had a um, composite which is kind of a plasticky um, reinforcement areas um, but the rail is uh, steer, uh, like a steel construction or alloy, I would say. Um, and of course, the saddle itself is is all rubber. It's very um, if you press it from the top, it feels like a kind of like a broken in um, box uh, leather saddle. But uh, I think that's just because of the natural properties of the rubber. It's very flexible. Um, yet they had a this kind of like a coating or like fabric um, that's being I guess pressed into this rubber um, and I think this all weather the difference between this all weather and the previous generation not non all weather is that the previous generation used a cotton covering uh, as re reinforcement but the new generation actually uses a synthetic I think I think it's nylon or polyester coating um, as their fabric of choice. So um, this one, um, the good side, the, the the improvement of this one compared to the old one is that um, its color it doesn't fade, it doesn't fade away like the cotton, and uh, of course it's water resistant because this thing repels water naturally. Uh, it doesn't absorb water at all. So uh, the seat should stay fairly dry, or you can just wipe it off and the seat should be dry. Uh, especially if you're riding in um, the areas that rains a lot. Um, for my old rocks, I always have to carry a um, a water resistant cover, but uh, uh, there's no way for me to apply the cover while I was doing a group ride because nobody would wait for me. And then, you know, once I apply the group cover, everybody there is is gone. So uh, I think with this one, the the good different, the huge benefit is it's all weather. And it's already naturally broken in because it's rubber. It's already flexible the moment you put it on. Um, the only thing in question is the durability. So that we can't, I can't tell you in this review. I have to write it a lot more uh, to be able to tell you whether if it's durable or not. But uh, I'll definitely come back and uh, update you guys on the comfortness of this saddle compared to the uh, Brox Swift uh, titanium that I had. Um, the Swift Titanium is probably even, it's actually probably lighter than the Cambium C17 because that's more like a C15 for the road bikes. But I wanted something wider for my butt um, because I don't do aggressive riding, it's just sometimes long distance, sometimes just general travel. So um, I think this one would fit much better. And uh, um, I think this one compared to the previous generation is that rivet. Um, I think they uh, right now have a black anodized coating for it. I think the previous generation was um, just a non-coated uh, alloy that's exposed. So that, that's the difference. Um, 
So let's take a look at, at the packaging. Famously flexible components from natural rubber. Okay, so they use a nylon top, so compared to the cotton. Um, and immediate comfort, and that's that's one thing I, I'm also interested in, because this thing, after maybe 2,000 miles, it's still haven't broken in properly. I still feel like it's, it's pretty rigid. Um, so we'll see about the natural rubber. Um, and of course, here it tells you the riding position, um, because I have a kind of, a, I guess, comfort road bike. Um, this seat would actually fit better than the one that's designed for road riding, which the, the Swift is actually a 45 degree riding position recommended setup. So um, there you have it. And of course the owner information is all on the back. Um, this saddle comes with a 10 year warranty, which I think it's, it's superb um, compared to most or any other saddles that you can buy, um, which is fantastic. So plus the price of this saddle, it's about a hundred dollars everywhere, mostly on the internet. I'll post the link if you guys are interested in getting this saddle. Um, but uh, I think this is the um, maybe product information and guarantee. Okay, so basically this is like the warranty book, and maybe it have some instructions on how to adjust and install the saddle properly. And I think it's in different languages. Yeah, so it's basically a simple manual for carrying and repairing and warranty information. All right. So that's about it. And, uh, the next step, I think I'm gonna put it on there and uh, take a shot of the bicycle and let you guys know um, if it's comfortable or not. I'm gonna do a quick short ride, okay, and update you guys. Okay, so I'm gonna uh, remove this uh, saddle and put the new one on. Uh, my bike has only one screw to remove the saddle, so it's not terribly hard. If we do a comparison, let's see, of the two saddles. And of course my Swift is uh, titanium. And this one is steel plus reinforced um, polycarbonate. Um, so the side profile. So as you can see, the Swift is definitely more like race oriented. And this one looks like it's gonna give me a little more comfort um, in terms of the riding. Uh, okay, let's install it. Of course, you always want to adjust your saddle to be about level or slightly higher. Uh, that is at least my preference um, for comfort. And again, I'm not doing any racing, so there is no need for speed and aerodynamics.
design of the saddle is actually the rail is slightly different than my um, Swift, so I have to adjust the front angle um, using the bolt in the front to make it slightly higher um, as compared to the old one. So that's why it took me a little while to just readjust and make sure it's just slightly higher than my previous positions. Just did it. I can just uh, tighten it. can tell already that the saddle right out of the box is softer than my uh, Swift after 2000 miles. Um, so I'm gonna take this bike out for a ride and let you guys know um, if it performs as advertised or the comfortness of the saddle. You can see it's installed and uh, as I said I prefer the front to be slightly higher um, to be slightly tilted up and uh, let's take a right. It looks it looks fantastic. It just looks awesome. Alright I'll come back and, and do a final update on the comfortness of the saddle after the ride. Okay, so uh, just finished uh, a little short ride, maybe two miles. Um, in comparison, the saddle is super, super comfortable. It feels like my Brock Swift has been ridden maybe three, four thousand miles because um, my sit bones doesn't touch any of the parts at all and it was just like comfortably resting on a piece of rubber uh, so there's no pain um, but something that you have to be careful of is if you didn't adjust it properly the angle is incorrect it would give you immediate pain on your sit bone so uh, make sure you adjust the angle either higher or lower or level and just make sure um, you find a spot that doesn't touch like the end of your sit bone and uh, once you find that spot it's gonna give you the most comfortable uh, riding position on this Brox Cambium C17 all-weather saddle uh, so I would assume that the original not all-weather should work perfectly fine or as comfortable as the all-weather except if you're riding the rain Make sure you have a rain pants, otherwise your pants is going to get wet. Um, but I think that that would be the only difference. Um, that the non all weather should still be weather resistant. It's just it's not as comfortable uh, to your pants if you um, you know ride in the rain. Uh, this one, of course, you still need a rain pants, rain rain pants uh, to ride in the rain. Otherwise, I mean you're going to get wet. Um, but the saddle is not going to soak any of the watering it and make it deteriorate faster so uh, i think that's that'll be a huge plus for anybody that commutes on their bicycles and uh, again super super comfortable and i think it's gonna last a long time um so my next step will be selling my books a swift saddle and, and keep this one as my main um, commute saddle maybe i'll also do a sentry on it you never know it might held up just as good as the uh, brock swift um, Okay, yeah, I'm really pleased, super comfortable, uh, no pain on my butt, on my sit bones, and uh, it's just a good all-around saddle for $100. If you guys have any questions about this saddle, uh, feel free to ask me in the comments section, 
Otherwise, uh, thank you so much for watching and uh, you guys take care.